Broadway thrills to a new motion picture. Little realizing the months of effort by thousands of workers that went into the making of these two hours of entertainment. Come with us as we turn back the calendar, leave Times Square where Cleopatra is having its world premiere, and make a flying trip to Hollywood. The studio is a beehive of activity. After months of research, the final draft of the scenario is written. The casting office engages thousands of players. Costumes are designed, and miles of materials are used in their creation. Blueprints are drawn for the settings. Machinery hums in the huge mill, and a thousand and one other important details are carried out before the big day when production actually begins. Then, we find ourselves on a soundstage where Cecil B. DeMille, the director, is making a last-minute survey of the set. Er, uh, Mr. DeMille, if we're not too presumptuous, would you mind explaining just what you're doing with those little gadgets? Well, these little gadgets give you the, the field, that is, the amount of screen that each lens takes in. This, for instance, is a 35 millimeter, which gives you the largest field, and this is a 75 millimeter, which gives you a smaller field. The, the scene that we are doing, for instance, now requires a large one. It's Cleopatra's preparation to visit the Roman Senate. All ready to go, Mr. DeMille? Well, we better have a sound rehearsal first, please. Now, uh, if you're ready, I, I'll, I'll, give the, I'll give you the opportunity of observing the scene through this. Now, ready? Give me quiet, please. Quiet, please. All right, Lindy, there's a sound. Ready? Action. Camera. The swan's feather. Careful, Iris. I'm trying to keep my hand from shaking. Good Majesty. I'm so excited. Majesty! Majesty! Nubian slaves should enter much, much quicker. And uh, the reaction of you girls when the, the lid is lifted off this chest and you see the wealth of these garments there, you're, you're, you're asleep, you're dead, there's no life in you. When you see these things, those are studded with precious stones. They're the wealth of the Indies. They're the wealth of Egypt. That's Cleopatra's coronation robe. React to that. Let me see it in your faces. Let me hear it in your voices. The gasps of, oh, ah, and so forth. Uh, Claudette, don't, don't react away from that feather that the little girl, uh, is, is, uh, fixing your eye with too quickly. She was six inches from your eye, but when you jump back there, uh, with that exclamation, let her practically touch the, the, uh, eye with the feather before you react to that. And, uh, this sword that the property department sent over, look. I mean, what, what, is that, that what I'm going to fight a battle with in, in Roman history? Uh, here, I brought one down from my own collection to show you. See what I mean? You, you've got to have that because uh, these men exchange real blows. You can't fake those mm -hmm. things, you know. You've got to have real battle. The same with these shields you sent in. Now, some of them are good, but listen to this. An audience could tell easily that that is uh, ten. Yeah. And not only that, uh, nobody wants to risk their life behind it from the thrust of the sword to it. Do you, do you want me to try? Shall I poke through with this one? No, thanks. Uh -huh. All right, but on the other hand, take this one. Now that you wouldn't object at all for me to jab, jab as hard as I want, would you? Real stuff. Yeah, you wouldn't mind that. Well, that's exactly the way the extra man feels behind these. 
his life depends on them because these blows are real. I mean, they, they, they strike with these, these real swords against these shields. Uh, they strike for the man's head and the fellow only has this as defense. I mean, if he doesn't duck, it's too bad. That's the way we stage these big battle scenes. So make them real. One of the most interesting and difficult scenes from a technical standpoint is the scene aboard Cleopatra's barge where Antony has come to arrest her. And uh, she has set the stage to entrap him and allure him so that he will forget his purpose. When she was sure that she had him, she gave the signal to start. The two lovers were uh, surrounded by silken drapes. Rose petals rained from above. The orchestra played soft and beautiful music, and the rowers started from Tarsus to row the prisoner, Mark Antony, back to Egypt. You see the silver-headed oars with a giant Nubian in chains attached to each one. Rhythmically, they row to the sound of a beating drum. instruments I hear are drowning them too much. we haven't time to show you more of the detail of the making of a picture such as Cleopatra. It's an endless task. We work uh, perhaps 18 hours a day. The making of a picture of such large dimensions as Cleopatra is not the work of any one man. The director only guides the many geniuses that are under him. And uh, I hope in Cleopatra, you think that the work of these many minds that have given up so much time and energy to bringing back this wonderful story, this astonishing love story of 2,000 years ago, meets with your approval. <laughs> 